Today in hormones we will study about glucagon hormone and in this we will study about its structure, biosynthesis, factor affecting its secretion, metabolic effect of glucagon and mechanism of action. In our previous video we have studied about insulin hormones. If you want to see that video I have given the link of that video in description box of this video. We know that insulin released from beta cell of pancreas but glucagon released from alpha cell of pancreas and glucagon hormone is made up of 29 amino acid and the molecular weight of glucagon is 3500. So if we talk about biosynthesis of glucagon its biosynthesis start from proglucagon with molecular weight around 9000. After sequential degradation of amino acid glucagon release. Unlike insulin, amino acid sequence of glucagon is same in all mammal species and the half-life of glucagon in plasma is about 5 minutes. We will study regulation of glucagon secretion. So whenever there is low concentration of glucose in blood and low concentration of amino acid and low level of epinephrine at that moment glucagon secretions happens and whenever there is high concentration of blood glucose there occur inhibition of glucagon secretion. Regarding metabolic effect of glucagon its effect is just opposite to the action of insulin. So we know that insulin enhance absorption of glucose from blood stream to the cell. The ultimate goal of insulin was to reduce the concentration of glucose in blood and the action of glucagon is just opposite to the action of insulin. So first in this we will study carbohydrate metabolism. So glucagon enhance blood glucose level which is called hyperglycemia. Glucagon increase synthesis of glucose in liver which is called gluconeogenesis means synthesis of glucose and glucagon enhance degradation of glycogen which is called glycogenolysis. On lipid metabolism glucagon promote fatty acid oxidation which result in energy production and also it perform ketone body synthesis which is called ketogenesis. And regarding protein metabolism glucagon increase uptake of amino acid by liver which in turn promote gluconeogenesis. Thus glucagon lower plasma amino acid. So next we will study mechanism of action of glucagon. So glucagon binds on its specific receptor which is present on plasma membrane. So it acts through mediation of cyclic AMP which is second messenger. So what is cyclic AMP? So whenever adenosine triphosphate bind to adenylate cyclase enzyme it release two phosphate group. Now it will become monophosphate. So this is cyclic adenosine monophosphate. It contain adenine group, it contain ripose sugar and it contain a phosphate group. This phosphate group is present between 3 prime and 5 prime position. So that is why it is called 3 prime 5 prime cyclic adenosine monophosphate. So this cyclic AMP enzyme further react with phosphodiesterase enzyme now hydrolysis happen and it gives 5 prime adenosine monophosphate. Now we will study mechanism of action of glucagon step by step and first step is activity of adenylate cyclase system. So now glucagon hormone will bind on its receptor. When this receptor get activate it further activate GTP regulatory protein. GTP is guanosine triphosphate. So when activation of these regulatory protein happen they activate adenylate cyclase system. So this adenylate cyclase system converts ATP into cyclic AMP. So now we will study activity of cyclic AMP. So cyclic AMP activate protein kinase A enzyme. So this is protein kinase A enzyme which contain two regulatory subunit and to catalytic subunit. So cyclic AMP binds on protein kinase enzyme and release or dissociate this regulatory subunit and catalytic subunit. So here you can see this equation. Now for cyclic AMP 
बाइंड विद इनएक्टिव फॉर्म ऑफ प्रोटीन काइनेस एंजाइम विच कंटेन टू रेगुलेटरी एंड टू कैटालिटिक सब यूनिट वेन इट बाइंड इट रिलीज टू कैटालिटिक सब यूनिट विच इज इन एक्टिव फॉर्म एंड रिलीज टू रेगुलेटरी सब यूनिट विच रिमेन इन बाइंड फॉर्म विद फॉर साइक्लिक एम पी एंड दिस इज इन एक्टिव फॉर्म सो नाउ दिस टू कैटालिटिक सब यूनिट विल वर्क so third step is activity of catalytic subunit so this catalytic subunit convert protein to phosphoprotein and this phosphate group comes from atp so atp gives one phosphate group and convert it into adenosine diphosphate and this phosphate group will phosphorylate this protein and it become phosphoprotein now this phosphoprotein perform its biochemical response which we studied in metabolic effect of glucagon and whenever you want to stop the activity of this phosphoprotein there must release of phospho group and the release of phospho group happened by phosphatase enzyme so this phosphatase enzyme break down this phosphate group from phosphoprotein and further protein comes to its original form so we know that cyclic amp plays the role of second messenger in mechanism of action of glucagon harpone so we already studied in previous slide that phosphodiesterase group perform hydrolysis of cyclic amp to 5 prime amp so it block the activity of this second messenger so in market there are caffeine and theophylline which inhibit the activity of phosphodiesterase enzyme so when phosphodiesterase enzyme activity stop cyclic amp can play its role so this is all about the hormone glucagon thank you for watching the video